Hello and welcome, and I can tell you it was a dry walk to the gantry today, no rain in sight. My name is Derek Ray, and I'm joined for commentary by the former Arsenal and West Ham player Stuart Robson. And with the atmosphere really building up nicely, we should be in for a terrific contest. It's Arsenal versus Manchester United. Well, Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game. Well, possibilities in the centre. Happy to take on the shot. A truly magnificent start. An early goal in the game. Just what they were hoping to produce. Well, as you can see, he gets there first, he makes good contact with the ball and finds the back of the net. That's a decent header. So on they go again, and that really should shake up United. Can they find a response now? Vieira. Nesta. Patrick Vieira. Teo Hernandez. Hernandez. Well, the attack peters out, and that means it's goalkeeper's ball. Martin Odegaard. De Bruyne. Patrick Vieira. Teo Hernandez. He has teammates around him. Saka and Havertz in with a chance it's still alive well threat averted Ronaldinho Vinicius Junior Mbappe working away patiently looking for an opening Vidic and the flag was up in good time. It's offside. Well, he should have realised that was going to be offside. That's a poor decision to play that pass. Tomiyasu. William Saliba. Martin Odegaard. Well, the half-time interval fast approaching. It's Arsenal with the lead. And a good point, I think, Stuart, to get your critique of their performance so far. Well, it's been a tight game so far, but they've just had that little bit more quality on the ball, particularly in midfield, where they've just started to take control. They'll be fairly happy going at half-time if it stays like this. And the whistle is sounded. And United will switch things around personnel-wise. Back underway then, and work to do for United, given the scoreline. Tomiyasu, Martin Odegaard, Bukayo Saka. The defenders, though, you can't really allow space like that. Very quick thinking there. Vinicius Junior, Dembele, Dembele, and no nonsense defensive clearance. This could square the game, and it's in a goal for Manchester United, who find themselves now level. Well, here's the replay, and you can see why the manager is furious. It's just really poor play, offering up possession far too easily in a dangerous area. And at this level, if you keep doing that, you're going to get punished. It's just not good enough. So back underway, following the equaliser. Jesus. Tomiyasu. On to Jesus. Martin Odegaard. It's there for him. And not cleared away properly. And in at the second time of asking. Just what was required. Well, as you can see, the first save is a good one. But they can't react quickly enough to the second ball. The keeper's a bit unlucky, really. 
So there we have it, 2-1. 20 minutes remaining. Dembele, Fernandes. And he has options available. Arsenal recovering possession well. Saka, Declan Rice. United have it once again. Ronaldinho. Manchester United No, they've got to get on the front foot with time the enemy. Well, just listen to the noise in here. These Arsenal fans are doing everything to get their team over the finish line. And there's not long left now. Gabriel Jesus. Is it going to be? And a goal! They lead by two now. And that allows them to breathe a bit more easily. Well, just look how he holds off the defender. He keeps his balance and he still hits the target. What a good goal that is. No shortage of goals in this match. 3-1. So there it is, the final whistle and a satisfying outcome for Arsenal and the many fans around the world. What did you think of their performance as a whole? Well, fairly comfortable in the end, wasn't it? thought they controlled the middle of the park well going forward